My name is Maria Jose Machado, and I am a member of the CLSI Breakpoint Implementation and Outreach Working Groups. I will briefly go over Part D, CDC, and FDA, AR Bank, BIT, ISO, etc. This is a PDF document that lists the specific AR Bank panels that are recommended for testing when using this toolkit. When you click on the hyperlink, a PDF opens up and it contains a table with the following information. The first column is named 2023 Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit Set Number, and it goes from one through four. This is how the BIT sets are easily identified and named in this toolkit. The second column contains the organism groups. The third column called antimicrobial breakpoints to validate enumerates different antimicrobial classes that can be verified or validated for, uh, for these organisms using this toolkit. And details about the specific antimicrobial agents will be found later in part E and F of this toolkit. The fourth column is the ISO selection AR bank panels. And it provides the AR bank ISO panel selected for testing for the specific organism groups and, our, and antimicrobial classes listed in the previous columns. And the fifth column is for notes, which contains any special considerations related to the BIT set. Let's quickly navigate the first set. This is BIT set number one for Enterobacterialis and intended to verify or validate carbapenems, cephalosporins, and fluoroquinolones. The Airbank panel recommended to perform this testing is the Enterobacterialis Carbapenem Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit, or BIT. And special notes or considerations about this panel is that there are only two susceptible ISOs for cefazolin. However, other panels, like the Detection Panel uh, or the Delafloxacin Panel, have additional ISOs if users wish to include more. It is important to note that by clicking directly on the panel name, you will be directed to the AirBank website page for that specific panel, allowing easy view and ordering. You then can click Add Panel to Cart. And if you're already signed in and have an account, you will be prompted to continue to browse and add more panels or to check out. If you do not have an account, you'll need to create one to place an order. Lastly, the part D of the document will have some footnotes, mainly just to inform you that the BIT sets contain about 30 to 34 isolates with a variety of MICs, but that some of the Airbank panels may contain more isolates. Also, that by clicking on the panel name, as I showed you before, you will be directed to that panel web page. And lastly, that if you have any questions or need to customize your order, please contact the AR Bank via email at arbank at cdc.gov.